What's up, folks? Today, we're up above the Gila River, and we're going on a petroglyph hunt. It's early in the day, because it is uh, late May, starting to warm up, so we gotta get out there early. First place I'm gonna check out today is this ridge up ahead of us up here. I'm gonna try to go around the front of that and find some rock art that's on the front of it, those basalt pillars over there. And then we're gonna kind of mosey around a few other places in the area that I know have some stuff and see what we can find. Let's start going that way. This area has a ton of these uh, like hundred year old cans from the uh, bridge and dam that was constructed here a hundred years ago. There's some porcelain pieces laying around too. <laughs> As you can see, part of a plate <laughs> from the cruise. Now, look at this little structure here. We've seen this before in one of my shorts. Looks kind of like a Pueblo ruin, doesn't it? But it is not. I've had another friend of mine look at this too, and both of us seem to come to the agreement that this was made by the uh, the construction crews. Same people that left all those cans and plates behind. Hmm. There's two of them. There's another one up here in little ways too. Cool little structures. 100 years old or so, but yeah, I don't think it's the ruins related. The guys uh, in this area didn't build stone pueblos the same style like the guys up at uh, Agua Fria area did. They lived a little differently around here. There's not really much evidence of their housing left, but there is a ton of evidence of their petroglyphs left. So that's what we're here for. Yeah, give you guys a little bit better view. That little, I'm gonna have to go along the edge of that ridge around the corner a little bit there and there's supposed to be some rock art over there. I have to go find it. All right, we're getting there. There's the ridge. And as we come closer, look, we found our first signs of rock art. Go up here. See that guy there? Very cool. There's something next to him, too, up there. See that? All right. We know we're in the right area now. Onward we go. A little bit further on again now, and I found some more rock art. Let's get close. Check him out. That almost looks like a hand. Sorry, the light, the sun is blasting right on this stuff. Right there. Snake? River? No telling. Right up above it. There's some more. Even this, I'm in a precarious spot. See, sorry. Even this rock I'm standing on right here has something. Let me zoom out. Tough call, but yeah, there's some really nice art right there. And we're getting closer. There's the ridge. Let me get off of this. Uh, I see a good one from here, too. <laughs> I'm going to make my way over there real quick, and I'll be right back with you guys. Yeah, I'm at the first part of these basalt pillars. These basalt pillars are so awesome. The way they push up like that, it's amazing. You can see right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, there's a very faint petroglyph right there, like it didn't get etched too deep. The one that I spotted from over there is right up there. Check this guy out. Wow, so cool. Tons of them in the area with that same exact style, like the long wavy arms, many toes, fingers. Awesome. Let's keep going. Okay, here we are. I'm at the start of the uh, basalt ridge and I can already see some good stuff. Sun right there. Some other designs coming down. Just other random abstract designs there. I'll get a little closer and keep going. There's much, much more to see. This is just the first little outcropping. Wow. 
Let's see what I can do. Wow, and it just keeps going. I'm gonna take a couple photos. I'll be right back with you. Okay, this video is probably just gonna be a lot of clips because I keep having to climb up and down these ridges, but it is what it is. I'll put them all together. Check this out. More designs here. This is on the side of the pillar that had that design on it there, see? Some of the stuff, as you can see, there's there's little designs all over the place right here. They're real faint, just like it's barely scratched on there. You can't tell. So we'll go around the corner here. Watch my step. There's, there's what I'm stepping up on, folks. Just so you know, there's like this big hill, and then there's this pile of stuff that's came loose, and then there's the wall. <laughs> so I'm just kind of precariously standing on this pile of stuff that's came loose. So forgive me if there's weird angles or anything like that. All right, next grouping. Check that out. Very intricate design. More here. It just keeps going. A lot of scratches. This, see all those scratches? That's just like the stuff we've seen out at the uh, that one altar petroglyph site. And this is kind of like superimposed images. As you can see, there's this big design here. It's made over this like humanoid type figure here. Another sun. So yeah, I've noticed a couple of superimposed images. I wonder if they were done at different times. Yeah, lots of scratches. Little spiral up there with some modern graffiti. I do know there is some modern graffiti at this spot too. I don't know how old it is, 100 years, more recent, I don't know, but there's been some people carve their names into this up here around the corner. We'll probably see more of it. But uh, yeah, wow, what a great start, huh? All right, we're getting around to, to the big boulders and the good stuff now. Check that out. next to it, right there next to it, there's a big crosshatch section. You can see some more, like a sheep or ram right there. Awesome, let's go check it out. Yeah, we are a little bit closer. Look at that. Excellent designs. I did the uh, that Red Rock Canyon down by Hila Ben, there were some drawings in there, like stick figures all holding hands, almost exactly like that. Come this way a little bit. Yeah, there's that grid. And you can see random other little stuff here and there. And there's that big sheep. That's awesome. More designs. A couple of those are high. Look how high that is. They had to stand on top of this pillar right here to put those spirals up there above it. That's insane. Next to that, there's another pillar with uh, some drawings at the top of it. And again, there's more stuff up top. They had to stand on top of that pillar to make that spiral up there. Amazing. Oh, there's more stuff on the wall beside of it too. There's a whole lot. Just the sun is blasting right at it right now. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, there's some good stuff over there. I'm gonna continue on. There's just so much here. It's literally dang near impossible to document it all. Look, it's around the corner. It just keeps going. There's even some stuff on these flat rocks that they were standing on. Next ridge. Next group of rock art. There is so much here, way more than I expected. Pan slowly by it, look at those designs. 
that right there. That is so cool. Like the maze. A whole bunch more spirals. Oh, more stick just fell. Yeah, check that out. Zoom out, yeah? That's like the whole mural. And right there is where I was a second ago. Way over there is where I started. But uh, yeah, this, as you can see, they just keep going and keep going around there. So, it's one of the best one of the area. Check that guy out. I've seen pictures of this before, but it's way bigger than I imagined. I won't touch it, but there's like my hand for some reference. <laughs> Huge. Sun slash shield. Amazing. There's some other designs underneath it too that are kind of faded to the side here. All kind of stuff drawn here. This cool little symbol here. Goes down. There's some more random stuff right there, but oh sorry for whipping the camera folks, but yeah, look at this thing. Amazing. A couple more great murals of the area. Look at that. Another large sun. Oh, some stuff on the side pillars right here too. But yeah, look at that. Sun, all kinds of stuff in, in those little pockets right there, you see that? And then this excellent mural. Check that out. Wow. Wow, it's huge. That's a big face right there and it takes up almost the whole thing. That's something special. I wonder what that's supposed to be, the river maybe? Just abstract designs. Wow, look at this. Okay, we're almost to the end now. That's just another excellent mural wall handprint in there. Abstract designs. Those designs we see a lot in this area. So cool. And then yeah, of course there's some of that modern graffiti. Why would you put it right over it? Just kind of block that out. Yeah. So much. So much here. Some idea of how long these pillars have been knocked down is there is drawings on the uh, on the rocks and knocked down pillars too. This one had a bunch. <laughs> All right, folks, I've made it. Here it is, the centerpiece of the area. Look at that thing. Amazing. That's about one, two. That's about five feet tall. Three feet wide. I'll try to put something up there to get some perspective, but it's big. Next to it. Look at that sun-like image. That's actually superimposed. See the bottom part of it? That's the body of a deer right there with the four legs. Head coming up here, or like a deer or a sheep. But then that big sun thing is kind of like made over it. Come over here. Oh, it's really bright, I'm sorry. Sun is like beating on us. But look at that thing. Goes around here. Another deer over there. That one is a deer, has antlers. Yeah, let me get a little closer. Climb up these boulders. Oh, this was this was a journey. The way I came anyway. Yeah, check it out. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, there's my hand, I mean. Some perspective anyway. And that guy in the superimposed deer slash sun. The pillar next to it in the shade has some stuff too. Check that out. Another cool design. Wow. Now, 
I believe these are attributed to the Patayan culture. And uh, there is miles and miles of rock art in this area that spans for, you know, uh, I don't even know how many miles from Phoenix to Yuma, pretty much along the entire Gila River. There's literally thousands and thousands of images. Sears Point, Quail Point, Painted Rock, all that is in between there. Th this is the Gillespie site, is what this is known as. That's the Gillespie, or Gillespie, sorry for the mispronunciation. Uh, dam slash bridge, way over there in the distance. That was actually built uh, in the 20s, finished in 27, I think, so it's just under 100 years old. And there is a dam you can't quite see because of the overgrowth. It breached sometime in the 90s, so the water just kind of flows into the mountains there and then goes into the irrigation canals. But yeah, this big thing you're seeing right here, that's the Gila River. There is water. The actual part of the river is over there along the base of that mountain. This down here is irrigation canals for all this farmland that's out here. So, yeah, take another step here. Walk along here. Yeah, check that out. Amazing. There's some semi-modern stuff too. I see 80s, 90s, 70s. But uh, yeah, scope them out. Almost looks like a, an atomic symbol, you know? <laughs> and uh, we'll go a little further. There's a handprint right there. <laughs> awesome. Oh. See what we got anymore over here, yeah. A couple more little pieces here. And I love these. These are like scratches coming down almost. Look at that. I've seen something similar to this in Red Rock Canyon. There's two of them too. And what's crazy is the thumbs are in the right position as if it's right and left hands scraping down the mountain. See the short fingers on the inside. <laughs> That's awesome. There's another regular hand burn right there. Some other random designs. See if I can go. I was in such a hurry to find the uh, the end piece there because it's getting to the afternoon. Now it's getting hot. That I kind of hurried past some stuff. And now that I see it and how to get back up, I can come back and look over here in a little bit. Can I check that cool design out. It's like a box. Some things coming out on the top of it. There's just so much. That was stuff. I came down a little bit for one last view of this thing. There's my walking stick right there, another little perspective thing. Huge, huge cool designs. I'm so glad I came here and found this. And what's even better is I don't have to go back the way I came. <laughs> it looks like I could just climb up right here and get back up on top of the mesa and then walk over to my truck, so that's perfect. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Remember folks, if you come to a place like this, just don't take anything, don't break anything, don't knock over any walls if there's ruins, don't touch the petroglyph, scratch anything, just leave no trace, you know, use common sense. Now I'm gonna start making my way out of here. Thanks for joining me today guys, hopefully this makes a good video, hopefully you like the rock art I've shown you. Let's go. Then obviously yes. Summer comes. I'm slowing down on posting a little bit. Can't do as much in southern Arizona, obviously, or central. So, I will be getting up to like Sedona, Payson, Camp Verde, stuff like that here over the summer, but I will be posting probably, you know, every few weeks, maybe even once a month. But once we get back into fall, I know October seems like a ways away, but it's not that bad. November, I'll be back out there every weekend and we'll be back on just like I was through the first winter. Oh, man. So, again, thanks for joining. If you guys like that, like, subscribe, comment, tell your friends. Much, much more to come.